Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. On their dev day 2025, OpenAI just announced this new agent kit, and this agent kit includes this chat kit and this agent builder. These are the two new things, and some people are saying that this new agent builder will destroy the JPR or NA10. But here you see that the reality is totally different. JPR itself posted that they are interested for the OpenAI Dev Day because there are something that you need to understand and I will talk about on that. And also some people cannot find that how to use this uh, new apps feature in their chat GPT because uh, on their Dev Day, in their live stream, they have already shown us that uh, you can use this kind of booking Canva and this Coursera, Expedia, Figma, Spotify apps in ChatGPT. But if you go to this ChatGPT.com, there in this plus icon, if you click here, you will not find this kind of apps anywhere. But there is a trick there how to use it. So in this video, I will discuss all of that things. So stay with me till the end. And if you are new to this channel, please make sure you subscribe this channel to get this type of latest videos content daily. So first, let me start with these apps in ChatGPT. This is the announcement introducing apps in ChatGPT and the new apps SDK. So how it actually works, now you can chat with apps. And the examples that they have given is this Booking.com, Canva, Coursera, Expedia, Figma. So for this Booking.com, here you see that if you want to find any hotel in Paris or in any area uh, for the number of person and the dates, you provide and it will give you the information. Another thing is that how to use it. Just simply go to this chatgpt.com and here, here in this section, just type booking.com. Okay, booking.com. Now, after typing this, just give a space. So, if I just give one space here and here you see that's this type of icon, you will find this booking.com. Now, here, if you just uh, paste your prompt, that find me a hotel in Paris for uh, two adults between these states with parking and now if you just press enter you will get the full output here you see that it will search that and the same way it will uh, do that things also this in Canva, in Coursera, in Expedia, in Figma so in Figma also here you see that if you upload your sketch uh, copy and uh, just tell it that can you turn this into a diagram it will do that in a beautiful diagram and the same things for the canva also here you see that if you have a documentation pdf or any url website url and just tell this canva that please turn it into a beautiful presentation it will do that here also you see you don't have to manually make the presentation okay and the same thing for the Sp spotify it will give you the latest song or whatever the preferred song that you want to listen it will give you all that list and the same thing for the Gilo and this Expedia okay and the Coursera also here you will get all of the courses and the beautiful courses here the same thing if I show you for this Canva also so just go to this app and here just uh, write Canva and keep a space and here you see that this Canva is available here. So in the same way, you can just write Coursera. Coursera. Okay, Coursera. C-O-U-R, I think. So after that, just keep a space here. And here you see that Coursera is coming as an extension. And uh, so in this way, you can use it. Okay. So this is the things that is related to these uh, apps in ChatGPT. Now let's move to our most interesting feature which is the agent kit and this chat kit. Okay, so most people actually missed about this chat kit studio. So first let me talk about this chat kit and then I will move to this agent builder. Okay, so what is chat kit actually if you uh, go to their platform this chat kit or studio all the links I will give in description please please go and check there. Okay, so here you see that go to this chatkit.studio and there you will find these three options playground, widget builder, and chatkit.world. So if you click on this chatkit.world, you will find this kind of maps and this is the world map. So these things actually, um, if I just place myself just uh, the top, then you will see it clearly. 
Here you see that there are some options that where should we visit next? We have not been, uh, where have not I been yet? Guess the country, plan a journey for us to go on. So basically, if you are planning to visit in a country, in that case, you can just select it on this map. And after that, you can plan that journey. And also, if you want to know anything about this country, then that thing also you can uh, do the chat here. Okay. In this chat option. So if I just select this Brazil and this uh, plan a journey for us to go on. And here you see that it will give you all that information. Okay. Now the thing is that uh, if I just show you what is this playground. So if I just click on this playground. Here you see that you will find this kind of chat interface. Now uh, if I go to that documentation and here if I just uh, search this chat kit. Then you will understand. From this example okay so here you see that in case of hubspot they have just added this chart chat kit okay and if you just uh, see this extension okay this is the things and if you compare it the same things with this here you see that this is exactly similar right so this is basically a chatbot so this is the widget that they have uh, given in their platform and here if you follow my cursor you will get this whole code this is the source code and here you see that this is the OpenAI chat kit that you have to install manually and from that you have to import it and after that you can build this uh, like in this way okay this is the code that you have to paste and it will work and it will give you this kind of interface you don't have to code manually to build this kind of chat interface and uh, here you see that uh, they have given multiple examples that who are using it currently like in case of canva they are also using this uh, this chat kit and uh, this uh, company legal on evernote and this uh, tabula they are also using this chat kit and another thing is that if i show you uh, this is the source code so here you see that chat kit i will keep this link also in description how you can use this chat kit in your project means in your front end here you see that uh, first you have to install this npm install in this way this is this will work with a react otherwise if you want to use this in your uh vanilla javascript then you can use this script okay and otherwise uh, you see that uh, this is the code you have to import it and after that this is the function and this is the box this height and width they have given so if you just simply do this this kind of uh, 15 to 20 lines of code you will get this kind of beautiful interface and also you can modify it here the radius the density on the left hand side the message and what type of examples and uh, icons and um, the font that you want to show the uh, the theme also you can choose from here okay now another interesting thing that they have given which is the second one the widget builder so if you click on this widget builder here on the left hand side you will find this uh, gallery components and these icons i hope you got the point that uh, why this widget builder is important because uh, if you go to react or any framework during building the website there you will find this kind of uh, widget right like uh, if i show you one thing let's say you want to uh, attach one date picker so here you see that this is a date picker so if you just take this code and place it then you will get this kind of beautiful date picker okay so this is like a material ui component those who have worked in react they know that in react angular there is a material ui library so they are also giving the same thing here okay so that means you can use this uh open ai widget builder uh, and these things we actually work with the react remember this okay so these are the things that is available in the chat kit okay so we have covered this chat kit all the links are given in description please go and check there now this is the interesting thing which is the agent builder okay people are actually really crazy about this agent builder so this is the looks here you see uh, there is nothing special 
many of you already familiar uh, if you have worked with the na10 and jpr there also you will find the same things okay so here you see uh, let me place here so that you can get the full view here you see that uh, uh, on the right hand side you will find this uh, information about this uh, each boxes that is uh, you are actually drag and drop and uh, this model you can select from the right hand side uh, whatever the model you want to work with and uh, this is the reasoning effort that you can do the setup and if you want to attach any tools here you see that uh, all the tools are available function web search file search mcp server and this is the interesting thing that i was talking about here you see that jpr so many of you told that JPR, this uh, new agent builder is actually will destroy the JPR. But here you see that if you go to JPR Twitter post, they are also uh, very interested about this agent builder because they know the limitation of this new agent builder from OpenAI. And you see that agent builder was just announced a new way to design AI powered workflows right inside OpenAI. But it shifts with only few native integrations and most businesses run on hundreds of tools. Okay. That is where Japier MCB comes in. It instantly connects Agent Builder to Japier's ecosystem of 8000 plus apps and 30,000 plus actions. So they are saying that uh, if you go to this OpenAI new Agent Builder, there you will not find that much of apps. Okay. So that's why if you go to this Japier platform, there are multiple apps are available and also Japier has multiple features because they are uh, in the market for a long time and they have attached uh, multiple features in their platform. But as OpenAI just announced this platform, so that's why they are using this third party server Japier as their MCP. Okay, so anyway, if you use this uh, agent builder from OpenAI also, then also you need this Japier. Okay. So there is no way you can avoid this Japier. And if you want to build any kind of simple uh, agent, then you can go with this uh, a OpenAI agent builder. But there is nothing special from the Japier or any agent. Okay. So on the left hand side here, you see that this is the agent and this int note, this kind of uh, sticky notes that you can add. This is the MCP section and this is the guardrail file search this is the logic that you can add and i thought to make a separate video on this new agent builder uh, to make a beautiful agent with this uh, new agent builder so that's why i will not implement that kind of uh, things in this video otherwise the video will be very lengthy and i will give this link in description so if you go to this platform.openai.com agent builder this is the url there you will find this kind of interface and if you click on this create then you will find that page and otherwise here you see that they have given some of the examples like if you want to build one customer service agent structured data qa agent data enrichment agent planning helper agent and this document comparison agent internal knowledge assistant agent then these are the steps or these are the building some templates uh, that you can use let's say i want to build one customer service agent use this template here here you see that all the step-by-step -step processes that they have given you can uh, see this and you will get the idea that how this actually works how these blocks are getting connected each other and uh, after that you are uh going to get the output and another thing is that after you build the agent on the right hand side follow my cursor on the top you will find this code option so if you just select this agent sdk you will get the full code for this particular agent okay in typescript and python you will get that this is really amazing because whatever the agent that you have built uh, here in this like a workflow that's full source code you will be able to download it okay and in this uh, preview option if you just click on it you will be able to run that uh, agent that you have built so i hope that you got the idea okay another thing that i have missed uh, which is this mm, this uh, billing section okay 
So remember that if you are using this uh, platform.openai agent builder, then you have to just uh, keep some balance in your account. I have just added five dollar. Uh, otherwise, you will not be able to use this OpenAI platform. Okay, this is the one thing. So I think that I have covered all of the things, and also OpenAI uh, just uh, released some other things in their dev day. So that I will discuss in another separate video. Okay. So if you found this video with detailed information, detailed steps, please make sure you subscribe this channel. Please make sure you like this video also. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Take care.